And 2018 NCAA Division One uh, National Cross Country Championships here in the freezing uh, Madison, Wisconsin. And uh, Alec Haynes, the uh, former Lafayette High uh, State champion and uh, uh, redshirt sophomore at Oklahoma State, uh, had a huge race last week. Uh, big 43rd place last week for the Oklahoma State Cowboys at regionals and. Uh, um, uh, help the uh, the Cowboys to what 13 today? Yeah, 13. I think you dropped last week in the standings after a so so. I mean, team wise, you guys kind of took it easy and took yeah, fifth, got that large berth, and dropped to 26 or so in, in the national rankings. So, a 13th place team finish, you got to feel great. Yeah, it feels good. I mean, like, it was all the help from our top two, top three guys actually, they all showed out. So, uh, I was the fifth place guy, the four and five guys, we just had the whole strong and like. We knew our top three were going to be good, so yeah, it was, it's nice to like upset some teams. Yeah. Yeah. Well, last year you got to run in regionals and then watch at nationals. Tell me what it was like. Uh, what was the mindset coming into run, getting ready for your first NCAA meet? Uh, it was exciting, man. Like, yeah, last year I did so bad at regionals, just swapped me out at nationals. But this year I uh, had a little bit of like better season. I was coming on at the end of the season, so yeah, it's really exciting to get to hop in here and race for the team. And obviously brutal conditions here, the cold and the uh, freezing temperatures, 195 out of about 245 guys today. Tell me uh, how the race played out for you today. Oh man, I, I think I went out like pretty hard. I don't know what place I was at the beginning, but I think I was out there pretty hard. And then uh, I was getting passed throughout the race, but I just tried to stay, uh, stay tough. And then I ended up passing a few guys towards the end, like probably the final 2K, but it was a grind, man. Like, yeah. The 10K is tough. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, oh, it's a huge jump from you know high school to even 8K, and then you go 10K, and it's. Oh, yeah. uh, tell me about the weather and conditions. Obviously, a lot of the snow is melted now, but Man. during the race, it was pretty much the whole course tough was. Tough conditions. Yeah. yeah, it was slippery. Yeah, snow was uh, tough. It's a lot colder here than Oklahoma, so I'm not used to running in this like cold. Right. But uh, yeah, I mean, I just tried to stay tough out there. And uh, what are you, you going to take away from this experience as you as you had? Uh, you know, two and a half years of school and eligibility left. Tell me, tell me what you feel like going forward and what you gained from today. Oh, uh, just to be tough, man. Like everyone out here is so good, but I just learned it's all like a mindset, really. Like, yeah. Everyone, everyone's just as good as each other, but it's just about staying tough and like believing yourself. And uh, um, tell me about the obviously the coach Smith has continued to build on the Oklahoma State uh, tradition over the last 15 years and Definitely. what's it like being a part of that and, and uh, wearing the uh, bright orange? It's a great culture to be a part of honestly. Uh, everyone works super hard and they all push me every day and there's still lots of progress to be made. And uh, tell me, uh, um, you're going to take a little bit of break we can get ready for, for indoors and uh, Focus what mile 3K indoors? Tell yeah, me, tell me what 3K you're thinking. Indoors, I'm yeah, I'm thinking mile 3K, just like probably like a two week break or so, and then just get back into it for this indoor season. Headed home for a week of Thanksgiving and uh, chat out on some turkey. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And if you had a vote, would you have uh, ever? Uh, a vote to have, bring nationals back here. I mean, the atmosphere was nuts with the with the uh, crowd and the enthusiasm for their hometown Badgers. But oh, it's 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 freezing, dude. <laughs> it's freezing here, and the snow also. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that, but I think it's a great environment, great city. But two years from now, I can't wait for the nationals to be in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, well, that's got to be big motivating for you and the rest of the Cowboys, huh? Definitely. Yeah, we're working on our course. They're doing construction on it. Home course advantage, I think it really helps. So, two years, maybe big things can happen. And tell me about the wicked tattoo on the right bicep, the right arm, uh, <laughs> top, of, top of your arm. That, that, that That's pretty sweet looking. Tell me yeah. when you got that and the story behind that. So, shout out to my brother, uh, Ian Haynes. He's actually a tattoo artist in yeah. St. Louis. Uh, he did one half of it in one section and the other half another session and maybe I could keep working on it. How long, full sleeve, I don't know. How long did it take? It's been I think 11 hours total. Wow. Yeah, but I don't know. Did he give you a discount? <laughs> yeah, he did, definitely. He's my brother. He has to. <laughs> well, congrats on the great season and uh, enjoy your uh, Thanksgiving break and get home safe and, uh, and, and let's get, get you warmed up and get inside. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it, Alec. Thanks.